In Maine. Will everyone please take a seat? Everyone's here. Good. Well, if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. Make him. Mrs. Carlyle, should we be keeping a record, you know, who's here and how they voted? No, Susan, you won't need to do that right now. When it's time for the deliberations, you'll have to pick a foreman. He or she will keep track of the voting. Um, how long do we get to ask questions? You can take as much time as you need. What if we decide right away? There's no time limit one way or the other. Is there anything else you'd like to know before we start? You can come in now. This is Jennifer Johnson. Mrs. Johnson is Jennifer's mother. Jennifer is charged with shoplifting and has admitted her guilt. Her mother is willing to testify, so if you have any questions for her, you may ask them. The item stolen had a total value of $21.57. They consisted of a bottle of cologne, two ounces, a notebook, four felt tip pens, and a small photo album. A girl who was with Jennifer and who was also seen to be shoplifting escaped. Jennifer says she doesn't know her. Those are the facts of the case. You may begin questioning. Why did you do it? I don't know. Did you need all those things? No. Did you need any of them? You must have had some reason. Did you go into the store to buy something? Just went to look around. You didn't go there to steal? No. I just went to look around. Come on. You just went to look around. Do you expect us to believe that? What brand was the perfume you took? What kind of question is that? Well, there may be some kind of pattern. Like she was in a scavenger hunt and had to get items that began with a P. <laughs> That's stupid. It's an example. The point is, you look at the details. Sometimes they add up to something. Yeah, great. You can ask questions, Danny. I don't want any more comments. Do you remember what brand the perfume was? No. I'd like to hear Jennifer tell us what happened. I think that would be the most helpful. Can you tell us what happened that day? The day you stole those things? I just took them. Well, what happened before that? You mean like the whole day? If you want. OK, I got up at 7. Got dressed, that kind of stuff. School was pretty boring, except there was a food fight in the cafeteria. After school, I went to the shopping mall. How'd you get there? Who cares how she got there? Danny! OK, OK. How'd you get to the mall? Took a bus. Talked to anybody? Yeah. Had a big fight about Philip Rodman. Who were you talking to? Just a girl from school. I don't remember her name. Was this the same girl who you shoplifted with? Just a girl from school. What was her name? I don't remember. Well, anyway, 
After school, I went to the shopping mall. Took the perfume and that other stuff. And then when I was walking out of the store, that's when they got me. What do you take us for? All you told us is you got arrested. Big deal. You didn't even mention the other girl. You asked me what happened. That's it. I told you. Is there anything else you want to add? No. Well, I know how I'm voting. Anyone here thinks she's telling the truth? Well, that's that. Mrs. Carlyle, can I talk to Mrs. Johnson? Yes, go ahead, Susan. Mrs. Johnson, can you tell us about that day? What you know of it? Well, the day started off badly. We'd had a fight. We seem to do a lot of that lately. What was the fight about? Mom. I think these people have a right to know. I think it might help. Jennifer wanted an advance on her allowance to go to the movies. Uh, I, I didn't mind the money so much. It's just that I... I didn't think she was... Um, not very much, just what the police told me. What about the other girl? Do you know who she is? No. Do you have any ideas? No. No, I don't know Jennifer's friends. She doesn't bring them home so I can meet them. Jennifer, what about the other girl? You must have some idea who she is. You talk to her. I said all I'm going to. You know, all you can do is lie. I didn't lie. Yes, you did. Every time you say I don't know. What's the matter with you? We're trying to find out what happened here. We're trying to help you. You don't know me. You've got no right to judge me. What do you think we're doing here? All you can do is make a punishment. You can't send me to jail. Well, we can send you to the juvenile court. That we can do. And they can send you to jail. Go ahead. I don't care. I vote we send her to juvenile court. <laughs> it's OK by me. Yeah, me too. I think it's time we break for lunch. Oh, what are you doing? We're making a decision here. I don't think the justice is served when you're this angry. Oh, well, it doesn't matter how long we break for lunch. I know how I'm voting. I think everyone else does, too. That's your privilege. We'll reconvene at one. <laughs> the judge isn't going to care about her one way or the other. We're supposed to be different. Would you quit being a bleeding heart? She went into the store to steal. She did. Nobody goes into a store to steal coloring pencils and a notebook. It doesn't fit. Oh, great. Heffley Bailey for defense. <laughs> Look, I'm just as mad as you. But Mrs. Carlisle's right. You just don't get justice when you're angry at someone. I think we should talk to her, find out what really happened. Hey, I think Manuel's right. I think we should, we should talk to her. I'm sorry, Manuel, but I think you're wrong. We've got all the evidence we need. We know she did it. We don't have to ask her about that. All we have to do is figure out what's the right punishment. Look, if somebody is really sorry, I'd give less punishment. But she isn't sorry. She just keeps sitting there telling us, go ahead. She's not cooperating for us to help her. What if you were in her shoes? Would you want a judge to decide? My old man says anybody who acts like a crook, you treat him like a crook. Just throw him away. We don't owe her anything. We bent over backwards for the girl, and what did we get out of it? She lied to us. Look, I movie send her to juvenile court. Let a judge decide what to do with her. Any seconds? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she'll be better off with a judge. Well, I don't know what to do. You saw how she was in court. I think she's scared. After she told us off? I think she's scared. I'm not disagreeing, but I don't know what else we can do. 
mean, maybe she'll talk to a judge. I don't know. But if we make a decision now, we're just guessing. She really hasn't said anything. What do you say, Ollie? Well, it's like you're outvoted. Eight to one doesn't count. No. Not on a jury. Oh, Majority rules. It's got to be unanimous. Says who? That's the way it is. All right. All right, then we'll just talk to Miss Carlisle about that. Yeah. All right. Let's go find her. Let's go. They're going back now. Do you want us back in the hearing room? No, not yet. and Jennifer goes back into the juvenile court system. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've seen in the movies, when they have a hung jury, the person gets a new trial. Well, it doesn't work that way here. Miss Carlo, there's nothing we can do with this girl. She won't tell us the truth. How are we going to make a decision? Come on. You've got a real problem here. I can see that. And if you decide that you can't work it out, I'll respect that decision. But I think you ought to know what's at stake here. The student court is an experiment. There are people in the DA's office and in the court system who fought against it. They think you're too young. They think you can't handle the responsibility. And it is a big responsibility to have this kind of say in another human being's life. Maybe you can't handle it. Maybe it is too difficult. I don't know. That's something you'll have to decide. So talk it over. And I'll see you back in the hearing room. No, well, no, I just don't see how she's going to tell us anything. I think Jonas is right. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with her. How many times has someone told you you're not old enough? That you won't be able to handle it? We've got a shot here and we're blowing it for nothing. Hey, sometimes you lose. It goes that way. Yeah. Well, thanks for sure. We're about as hung as a jury can get. Yeah, That's true. I think so. It's not fair one guy holds up eight other people. Look, I say we tell Miss Carlisle we're a hung jury. Any seconds? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll send her to juvenile court. But let's talk to her one more time. Oh, come on. One hour. We've already spent three hours and it didn't do us any good. Well, what's it gonna hurt? Look, if I can't get her to tell us anything, then I'll vote with the rest of you. It won't be a hung jury. Everyone will be happy. Come on, one hour. That's not so much. We've already spent too much time. 45 minutes, then. Okay. All right. 45. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Listen, listen, I don't understand you guys. She stole. The world's full of people like this. Let her go. She's just gonna go do it again. You gotta show her you're gonna be tough. Otherwise, she'll keep doing it. You know, I'd like you guys to explain this whole thing to my pop. I really would. When I was a kid, I got caught stealing candy from a drugstore. My pop beat me up and down the house! I tell you, though, I never, ever stole anything again. So what, do you want us to punch her? Yes. <sighs> 45 minutes. And that's all. That's all. After that, you vote with the rest of us, Manuel. After that, she goes to juvenile court no matter what. Deal. <laughs> I'm sorry I yelled at you before. I got mad. We all did. It's okay. We felt you were taking advantage. Jennifer, I'm gonna be straight with you. No one here believes you're telling us the truth. If we took a vote right now, you'd be in juvenile court talking to a judge. You got 45 minutes, and we're gonna take a vote, one way or the other. Oh, this is a waste of time. 
You might as well go home right now. 45 minutes. That's what we agreed. Jennifer, this is your last chance. For all the good it's gonna do. Okay. But it's not your 45 minutes, it's hers. How come your father's not here? He and my mother got divorced. How long? What? How long have they been divorced? About a year now. My mother and father are divorced too. Was it a rough one? I remember when my folks got divorced. It was like the whole world had been pulled out from under me. I didn't know what to do. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I got off the track a little. Who was the girl you were talking to on the bus? Then she was the same girl you were shoplifting with. You had enough? Mrs. Carlisle, do you mind if Mrs. Johnson left the room for a while? Might be better for Jennifer to talk. Uh, if you think it would help. Just for a little while. See how it goes. Five minutes? Ten would be better. You will be back in ten minutes. You know, the clock is still on. Did I ask for more time? I'm just saying. Okay, Jennifer. Now it's just you and us. No one else is going to know. What happened? What's the matter with you? Do you want to go to juvenile court? Do you want a criminal record? How do you suppose it's going in there? It's Everything you could. Okay. Okay. You got secrets? You think you're the only one? Everyone's got secrets. I'll tell you a secret. I know what you're going through right now. I know, because I sat right where you're sitting. And you want to know something? It was for the same thing you are. I got arrested for shoplifting. A friend of mine, he dared me to steal a six-pack. Now, that wasn't the first time I did something like that. Only this time, I got caught. But I came here, and I sat in front of a jury just like this one. And for the first time, I got a chance to look at myself through someone else's eyes. Now, I didn't like it very much, and it wasn't easy. But I learned about myself. Jennifer, you know, you keep hiding, and pretty soon you convince yourself that you're not the one to blame, that it's everyone else's fault. You see, that's how I was. If it hadn't been for the student court, I'd be in jail like a lot of my friends. Jennifer, this is your last chance. Don't blow it. Talk to us. I know the girl on the bus. She's my friend. That's who got away at the shopping center. Oh, well, what's her name? I'll tell you everything, but I won't tell you her name. Then it's no deal. Why don't you be quiet? You've been bullying everyone in this room. I'm tired of it. Well, it's not fair that she doesn't say who it is. Why don't we find out what really happened? 
We can worry about that later. I second that. Tell us what happened. I went to the shopping mall with my friend. I didn't go there to steal anything. I just went to look around. When we got there, my friend started taking stuff. You know, for fun. She wanted me to try, but I was scared, so she started putting stuff in my pockets. You know, to show me how easy it was. At first, I was putting stuff back on the shelves. Then it was kind of fun. That's where the pens, the felt tip pens and the other stuff came from. That was stuff she put in my pockets. Perfume was my idea. I don't know, I just wanted it. When the sales lady turned around, I took it. When I walked out of the store, the guy got me. He grabbed both of us, but uh, she broke loose, got away. That's it. That's what happened. And the girl? some things, but I'm not a snitch. That's your final word? Yeah. I think it's time we pick a foreman. I do. Looks like you're the foreman. agreed that she didn't go in there to steal. I don't believe her. Oh, me neither. You want to tell us why? Well, she didn't have any money and she knew it. And think about what she said. She took a bus. If the store was near the school, I could believe her. But you don't get on a bus and ride all the way out to a shopping mall just to look around. I do. I go just to hang out there. Do you have anything to add? Yeah. I think she's snowing it. Oh, man. We're going to be here all night. Well, no, I think she got caught stealing and she's lying to get out of it. Simple as that. You always think the worst of people. I saw her outside with her mother before the trial started, and she was scared, and not just because she got caught. Isn't it possible that she thought her friend was going to buy something, that she went all the way out there just to keep her friend company? I'm not saying it did happen that way, but couldn't it have? Maybe. Even a murderer gets the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Well, no way. What do you think we should do? I don't want her getting off scot-free. She does. What, she's just gonna go steal again? She's not getting off scot-free. She's got to accept our punishment. <sighs> yeah, okay, okay. Should we vote on it? I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh. We're ready. Thank you. We'll be right in. Shall we?
Ed, will you read this aloud? This is what you'll be asked to sign. One, I will not violate any laws of the United States or of this state or of this city. Two, I will be home at the hours established by my mother. Three, for at least one hour each week, I will sit down with my mother and talk so that we may understand each other better. Four, I will see to it that my mother is introduced to all my friends, both male and female. Five, I will make every effort to improve my school performance. Six, I will submit a weekly letter to my counselor, Geraldine Carlisle, describing my school performance and outside activities. Seven, once a month I will report to Mrs. Carlisle with my mother for further counseling. Eight, I will seek employment after school hours, though I may learn the value of earned income and the wisdom of spending it. Nine, I will repay the manager of the store both for the things which I stole and those that were taken by the girl with me. That's it. You understand that this contract has the same force as a verdict in a court of law. Will you sign the contract? Yes. Thank you, everyone.